Hey YouTube, it's you then back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite fictional characters. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I just want to start off the video by saying if it's like a little too bright in here, it's because I just put a new light in my room. So if it, if it makes me look a little orange, I'm sorry, I'll try to fix that. But so I just want to start off by saying uh, the book that I'm currently reading and I'm loving is Jurassic Park. Now, let me start by saying I am a huge, ultimate, huge, huge, huge fan of Jurassic Park, the series, and the Jurassic World series. Now, you can ask me questions if you want down below. You can ask me questions about Jurassic Park, and I'll answer them. My first fictional character is Mar by Red Queen. Or not by Red Queen, but in the Red Queen series. What I enjoy about her is in the first book, I could tell that all she really cares about is her family and she wants to get back to her family and she wants to learn more about her powers, which I can understand if I had powers and I didn't know about. But during, as the season or as the book series goes on, I feel like she ends up starting to become more selfish, more like uh, kind of annoying, those kind of drama like those drama queens uh so in i believe the third book either the second or between the second or third um what she was doing was she fell for marvin which she was she had to marry him in number one but she didn't and then she loves her brother or not her brother though no um not her brother but um marvin's brother cal and it's just like, oh, she's talking about, oh, I love Marvin. Oh, I love Cal. And it's like, Ugh. but the reason why I enjoy her is because at the end of the day, she always puts her family first. And that's like me. I am the type of person to always put my family first, no matter what. And sometimes I'm trying to put myself first as well, but it's kind of hard. So that's my number one favorite person, favorite character. My second favorite character is Star. Now, well, Star by the Hate You Give. And Star is my top five absolutely favorite characters. What I enjoy about her is at the beginning, she used to, at the beginning of the book, if you guys haven't read the book, the book looks like, book looks like this, the Hate You Give. Which is a beautiful cover and this is a collections edition so with star at the beginning of the series or not the series at the beginning of the book uh you could tell that she's very shy and she doesn't want to open up her feelings to anyone because she's worried that she might say the wrong thing now what i enjoy about it is that it shows her from becoming shy to becoming confident. Uh, she started talking about uh, the death of her childhood friend. So what I, I can't even explain, but I'll try to more. With her, she's just very outgoing. And again, she has all this pain inside of her. And then at one point it just all comes out. And again, I've, all these characters that I'm going to be talking about, I relate to a bit. With this character, I relate to because she keeps her feelings inside and that's like me. I like to keep my feelings inside. I don't really like to spread it out because sometimes I don't really know what to say. And it's, as you guys can tell, right now it's even very hard for me to explain things because sometimes I'm even nervous that I might say the wrong thing and it might get me into trouble. So that is my second favorite character my third favorite character is joe march but and she is the main character in little women what i truly enjoy about her is that again she cares about her 
her family a lot and another thing is she's trying to also fight for her dream she wants to become an author she's writing her own book and throughout the book we're seeing her whole story of it and she cares about her sister and her, not her sister but her sisters and they all have this beautiful relationship and with her it's like she's even she's reading a lot of books too so sometimes when she quotes books in the book that i read it just makes me feel generally connected to her i wouldn't mind being her friend because she'll be like oh you know in this book quote and then i'll be like wow that's very like why do you like that quote like you can have a genuine a genuine conversation with her about books and I need friends that I could talk to about books so that is another reason why I like her also is she's not really the mother but I feel like she's the more responsibility uh, sister responsible sister and she always she always cared very much for her little sister which sadly to say sorry if I spoiled it her sister her youngest sister passed away um and then she ends up making a book called little women and it just talks about her whole sister's childhood and all of them together and that's why i enjoyed it at first i watched the movie so my fourth favorite character is simon from the shadow hunter series so let me just say, first of all, that Simon in the Shadow Hunter series is very attractive. And I'm talking about from the TV. I'm not talking about from the book one. But when I look at Simon, I could be like, yep, that is mine. Mm -hmm. How did mine ask him out? One, he reads. Two, he's in a band. Three, he becomes a vampire. Like, come on. <laughs> please I would even if you have to suck my blood I would do it be mine but again what I like about him is that he always he's always there when you need someone to talk to and he's kind of funny too especially when he first met Isabel in the book and he's just like he's just he's hilarious honestly and that's why he's my He's in my top five. So that is number four. And I kind of wrote, as you guys can tell, I like using post-it things and I just dropped all my post-its on the floor. <sighs> God, that's not in order anymore. Okay. Yeah, I just picked it up and I'm just going to talk about my fifth character. So my fifth character, oh, was Peter. And all that is just the initials of Talibas I've loved before. But what I truly love about Peter is that in uh, P.S. I Still Love You, which is this book right here, he, like, I, gener I fell in love with him so much because there was one thing that he said in this and he's like, I'll fight for you, Laura Jean. And right there, I started crying. Oh my gosh. And he's like, he's the nicest person to talk to. Sometimes he understands things, but if you end up being in a relationship with someone like him, he will fight for you. Like if something happened very bad, he'll be like, no, I got it under control. And he's always sticking up for you when, it, like if people are talking about you behind their back excuse me and i wouldn't mind having him either as a boyfriend or a friend like i don't really find him too i don't find him too attractive but honestly he, he's by the books he's a really good boyfriend he's very caring about laura jean and he even is friends with laura jean's sisters which i think is absolutely amazing so that's why i feel like me and him would have a good connection because he like, if I introduced a guy to my brothers, I would want this guy to be, like, really good friends with my brothers. 
because I don't want my brothers and my boyfriend to get like not have a connection so there's number five. number five number four is kitty I just realized that it's not four it is actually number six and I'm sorry but ever since I looked at Simon's picture I've just been very distracted to all the boys I've loved before <laughs> with kitty she's upfront and honest and like she's just like so cute and whenever it's like an awkward scene with her she just runs she leaves sorry if i keep touching my hair by the way it's because i have long hair and as you guys can tell whenever i go like this it just goes ahead but with kitty she's always there for lara jean but there's always a deal like if lara jean wants to borrow her earrings or something she's like okay what do i get out of it can she just borrow your earrings like that's why i just find her absolutely funny because she takes the most like funny the most uh simple question into a deal which i love um so there's that and again i use post-its so there's that uh but my next one is lucy from the narnia series now at the beginning of the Narnia series, I thought she was kind of a little bit annoying. Sorry, Lucy. But then as the series go on, I feel like she's stepping up. I feel like she's starting to grow up and she's starting to see the troubles in the world. And she's like, okay, I see this happening. Maybe I should step up my game and start focusing more about what is happening. And then she ends up becoming more of a main character and she ends up becoming more tough. And that's what I love about her. And she cares so much about her family. And she also wants to be like her older sister. So to me, it's like she always has a role model in her life. As much as even in the movies, uh, the Prince Caspian one, um, she always wanted to look exactly like her sister Susan. But... Then she ends up realizing that she loves herself and she's not going to end up looking exactly like Susan because at the end of the day, you should love yourself for who you are. And that's what she ends up doing. Basically being like, I love myself for me. I can, let me just be me. So that is why I love her. She's very confident now. She's not shy anymore. She's just out in the open enjoying it. And she really cares about her family. So... Now, I don't remember which one was my ninth one. Oh, now I do. <laughs> I can't forget this one. My ninth, my second last favorite is Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. Now, I'm talking about the whole Jurassic Park series. And I'm talking about the book and the movies. Now, he was in Jurassic Park 1, The Lost World. He was not in number... He wasn't in number 3 of Jurassic Park. Um, I don't believe he was in number 1 of Jurassic World. Uh, oh, but he was in Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom. Um, what I really li like about him in the book is that he is up front. Like, he's saying all these different facts, and it just, like, to me, it's like, yes, speak the truth, speak the truth. And John Hammond is just telling him, Shh, you, why are you even here? No one likes you, blah, blah, blah. But what I realized is that with him, he's just upfront and honest. And that's what I like about characters. He's always speaking facts. He's, like, if I had a friend who, um, like, read this book... And was like, oh, did you see this part or this part? Or they ended up getting a bibliography about dinosaurs or something. Then, and he ended up telling me, oh, did you know that Tyrannosaurus Rex was like the king of the earth or whatever? Like, I find it very nice that people speak honest facts. Because sometimes I need to hear the honest. Like, I need to hear facts. Just so, because that's how I understand more. That's why, again, that's why I like reading because in books, they get facts and 
all this historical things and you could tell people's emotion so that is one of the i really hope you guys can try and understand me because i'm still trying to be able to feel comfortable in front of speaking in front of a camera not even a camera more like my my phone but yeah there's that and my last one i have two um i was kind of stuck between cow from the red queen series or laura jean mm. now they're both kind of they're both the 10 they're both spot number 10 um but i don't i don't know i mean cow at the beginning he was ugh, like he's just like that annoying little you know that guy that would always have a crush on you and just never leave you alone that is cow that's what i think he is but then in number two then is when i realized that, okay actually he's not like that he cares more about the kingdom he doesn't really care so much more about mare as much as he's in love with mare he doesn't really care about her that much during some of the series until the last one or until the second last one but what i really truly like about him is his powers he knows how to control his powers. He has a fire power, which means like he can, if he snaps his finger, then there's powers right there. Um, but with him, he knows how to control it. Like, if he's upset, he knows how to just keep it inside and not like just burn the person to death. So that's why he's my top 10. But then there's Laura Jean. Now with her, she's kind of like mare to me. A little bit she's kind of still like that drama queen like oh no one likes me i don't have friends i can't do this like she's always putting herself down at the beginning but then near the end when she's about to graduate and go off to college you can see how confident she ends up becoming so that's why i don't know i don't know which one is my top 10 but i'll just put them both there so and again, I am trying not to say so, so many times. I will try my absolute hardest in my next video, which will be posting next week, Monday. Not this coming Monday, not May, no, not May, June, June 22nd. Yes, on June 22nd, I'm going to be posting this video. And then the following week, I'm going to be posting my June wrap-ups and i'm gonna be giving you guys reviews on the books i have read all right so let me just wrap it up thank you so much for watching my video please make sure to give it a like make sure to comment down below any questions you want me to answer about the jurassic park series subscribe make sure you subscribe and uh turn on the post notifications so you always know when i post all right guys bye